Hey guys, we're going to be doing something a little different today. Um, I am going to be showing you one of my hobbies uh, that I like to do. It is um, wax steel seal stamps. Oh geez. Um, so pretty much I have a couple of thank you cards that I need to send out. So I am going to be sealing them. Um, I did lick them to make sure that the envelope stays sealed, but just in... I'm only doing that for added um, protection to ensure that when it's going through the parcel services that it won't open. So um, that's the only reason why I did lick them already. So uh, like I said, we have two of them. Let me put one of them aside and this is going to be the one we're working on. So I lit my flame and this is a little... Um, I guess stand to hold my melting spoon and I have several different kind of waxes um, just different options as far as colors and everything goes the colors my son got a hold of them and dropped them so I haven't had a chance to reorganize them or anything like that but um, there's different um, oh I dropped my spoon there's different colors, um, so I'm pretty much going to mix uh, probably either three or four of them together. I need to decide which stamp I'm going to use first, and then I'll be able to um, decide how many of these I will actually need, whether it's three or four. So I'm going to show you a couple of options that I have. One is an octopus. This one is my favorite so far. Um, I got this one, I believe on Wish or Amazon, either one of those, but I, um, this one's my favorite so far. Um, I have another one. If you don't know me, I love Harry Potter. So we have a couple of Harry Potter ones. This one's a Hogwarts. And let me see if I can grab the other. Harry Potter one. This one is the Dark Mark. Um, I have a Flamingo, as you guys should know by now. I love Flamingos. So I have a Flamingo. I started preparing for the holidays, so I have a Merry Christmas with a tree. And also a beautiful snowflake. So when we send out our Christmas cards, we'll have that. Um, one of my clients uh, gave me one of these stamps uh, when she used to collect in the past. Her name was Lynn. This is the stamp. It's very cute. Um, I'm going to be doing these, one of each. All right, so now that we have our stamps, let me put the ones I'm not gonna use away, and then we can um, go ahead and get started. So first, um, the octopus one, we are gonna be using three little, I guess, uh, ink pebbles. I don't know what they're called off the top of my head. And for the dragonfly, we will be using four, just because it's a bigger stamp. Okay, so we're just going to do some random colors. Hopefully it turns out pretty good. When I get all of them, I will show you in the palm of my hand. So we'll do the dragonfly first. So, um, so these are the colors we're going to do. Let me situate them in my hand. One's like a red color. The other one's a gold, purple and a white. So we're going to be putting those in our melting spoon. Let me see if I can zoom in on that without, oh wow, that is so close. Okay. So I'm just going to adjust this so I can get a better look at it melting. So in the meantime, I am also going to pick my three colors that I'm going to use for my octopus. And that way it's just ready and I don't have to do this when it's time. So I think I'm going to choose a white 
kind of like a pinkish salmon color and then also kind of like a a dark green color these are the three that we're going to be doing for the octopus so i'll put those aside it looks like that's almost done all right i'm just getting situated right now so i'm sure you guys are done watching this melt we are going to turn the camera this way that way you guys can see me pouring the wax and then stamping it. So we have it right here. I'm going to give this wax a little, a little turn to make sure it's all melted. And it is, I could tell just by barely moving it. Okay, so I'm going to put this back into view right here. And I'm going to take my spoon pour it okay I'm gonna put this back on there and we're gonna stamp it make sure it's facing the right way otherwise it'll look pretty stupid I'm just gonna move it so the wax gets covered completely by the stamp I hope I'm not covering this too much so we are gonna let this sit in the meantime I am going to so let's put this off to the side we will bring forward our spoon again and add our colors for the octopus they're going to melt pretty quick and traditionally i would uh switch or i would clean out the spoon before i add the uh the new colors but we're just gonna we're just gonna wing it and let it let it do its thing so in the meantime while that is melting let's check the dragonfly it should be done it dries fairly quick so i want to hold this closer to the camera okay we're going to take this off and that is our stamp it's very pretty i love the colors it is not fully dry so i need to put that in a flat area let's see what these look like Okay, it is still melting. I am going to give it a little mix just to kind of speed up the process a little. They're ready to get poured. So here's the colors and we're going to pour it. This one looks like it's going to be pretty cute. So put our spoon back. Oh my gosh. Okay. And now make sure the octopus is facing the right way. This one, I don't know why, but I have such a hard time doing this one, but hopefully I got that. So this, um, I guess, teal colored handle that you see, this is actually removable and I can add this to any of the other stamps. I got this off of Wish for only a dollar, but of course, whenever you order from Wish, it's going to take about two months to get here. But it was pretty cheap compared to like $4 that you would spend on eBay, Amazon, something like that. So we're going to give this a few more minutes. Let me zoom out. So we'll put these here and I'm going to blow up my candle. And so typically I would clean that, but I don't have any paper towels or anything around me right now. So I'll just have to clean it maybe the next time I stamp. Um, I will also show you my stamping area when we're all done with this because I am currently trying to do something a little different. So this is the octopus. That came out pretty good. I really love that. So there we go. Uh, I will also post uh, some pictures of, of the stamps, kind of like close-up pictures. Um, so give me one second. Okay, so I'm trying to get a close-up of this octopus, and it is not focusing. There we go. So that is the octopus stamp. 
and also the dragonfly. And this is my little work area. I am trying so hard to get it all in picture. Okay, this is my little work area. I work in my closet. So um, one year I got my wife this for Christmas. It's supposed to organize her makeup, but I have all my stamps, spoons, pens. Um, I also have extra candles right here. My lighter, I ran out of, oh, here it is. I, and I do have uh, stuff to clean my spoon, but that's trash. Um, I am trying to melt some wax to make it a little, a little more interesting in here. But yeah, so let me show off this light. So that's what's going on. Hope you liked the video.